Well, Denzel Valentine going to Chicago, staying in the Midwest, in, in more Big Ten country <laughs> here. Uh, how did it feel to have your name called? You know what? I'm comfortable in the Big Ten country, so, so it, all, it all works out. But it felt great, you know, all the hard work that my family has sacrificed and uh, all the all the hard times that, that we went through. It's all worth it now, and I'm just excited that I got picked up and I'm very excited. There's been a hard, lot of hard work that you've put in, no question about it, and it seems like you've had to prove yourself every step of the way, whether it's talking about injuries or talking about your game. How satisfying is it to, to know that you finally have a team that, that wants you? You know what? It's 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 really motivating that that you know they uh they picked me up at uh, 14 and and I'm going to a great organization you know high ca high caliber team like the Bulls, um but the work starts now you know it's only it's only going to get harder from here because there's a lot of hungry guys out there that want to you know be great in the NBA and want to be great in this draft class so the work the real work starts now and I'm just excited to to get after it. Well, clearly the Bulls had a need for a point guard after trading away a former MVP the other day, Derrick Rose, to New York. So now they obviously ha filled that need but by drafting you. Do, is there added pressure or is that a, a good feeling to know that a team needs a starting point guard and they got you? It's a great feeling because, um, you know, I can come in and, and, and play a role. Um, you know, minutes are earned, not given. So I know there's there's players there right now. So I'm not going to you know, just go in with the mentality, you know, I got drafted by them in the, in the first round, so they're going to automatically start me. I got to go prove myself, and I know that. So I'm going to go in there, you know, play with a chip on my shoulder, um, and uh, just, just get after it. Yeah, a lot of conversations this year with Fred Hoiberg in his first year as Bulls coach about getting up and down, getting that pace going. Do you feel comfortable in an offense like that? I feel very comfortable. That's what we did at Michigan State. You know, we – you know, we always, you know, we're always on the go, and uh, just very excited to start this new journey. Um, coach Horberg is a great coach, you know. I've heard nothing but great things about him. I'm just excited to start the journey and can't wait for it. All right, tell us about your socks that you got on. How do you get, how do you get socks with your face on them? The sock game is, 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 is real tough right now. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, they're Stan socks. I went over there to Sweden, and they provided me with these socks. So, you know, I figured it was a good night to, you know, wear them. They're pretty nice. All right. What do you think our, our colleague Steve Smith is going to say about you going to the Bulls? What do you think his first piece of advice to you is going to be? Oh, just stay focused. You know, go in there. You know, it's a, it's a lot to live up to. You know, Chicago, is they're used to winning. And I understand that coming from a program like Michigan State, you know, we're used to winning too there. So it's going to be a lot of pressure. But I can, I think I can handle it. I'm a competitive person. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to – I'm willing and open to any advice, especially from a player like a uh, person like Steve Smith. Well, Denzel, congratulations to you. Best of luck in Chicago. Oh, thank you, sir. At least I don't have to tell you to buy warm clothes because you already got that. Oh, uh, I got plenty of warm clothes. <laughs> congratulations, Ben. Thank you so much.